Hey guys, welcome back to the third quest for the best worst food here in China. Today it's actually not going to be food, I'm going to be trying drinks. Last week, you know, we did a bunch of processed foods. This week, we're going to try a bunch of drinks and stuff and see how bad they actually get. So stay around. Heading into a store right now. Let's grab one of these. I'm gonna try one of these cans. I have no idea. Herbal tea. So after that first stop, I actually went a few other places. I got some soy milk here and I got uh, milk tea, I guess. But the milk tea is something like I normally drink because it's one of my favorite things actually. But anyways. I got some interesting stuff. Tamarind juice, something like that. A lot of times they'll have uh, a type of juice like this at um, weddings and stuff. It's just kind of an interesting juice, um, but we'll see how good or bad it is. And then I have no idea what this is. Everything's in Chinese. Probably some sort of tea, maybe an herbal tea. I have another herbal tea here as well as soybean milk, of course. So, we're gonna try these out, see which one is the worst. None of these things are gonna be like terribly bad, probably, just because of the type of things they are. But we'll see which is the worst, why not, right? So, let's go ahead and start with this one that's all in Chinese. How about that? It's got like people on it and stuff, <clears throat> monkeys and tigers or whatever that is. Kind of interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and open her up. All right, it's just a tea. Shouldn't be bad, at least. It's sweet. I'll actually drink it. Like, it's just like iced tea. There's another brand of iced tea that we get. Um, maybe it's Nestle, even, iced tea. It's pretty decent, actually, as far as, like, red iced tea goes. But this is essentially the same thing. Let's get to the next thing. Okay, we're going to try the, the soy milk, the Joyang soy milk or whatever. That's a brand name, at least. Um, try it out here. See what it's like. I don't know if it's, if it's sweet or not, but... It's a popular thing here, even McDonald's has it for sale um, as one of the drink choice, which is pretty interesting. You know, it must mean it's good, right? It's sweet, again. It tastes a little bit like soy milk. I mean, I've had it before, I think. I don't remember having it. It's been a little while, but um, it's not bad. But, I mean, it's not my favorite because it does have that beany taste, and I don't like that so much as drinks. Um, even in soups and stuff, I don't like too many beans. But yeah, it's okay, I guess. All right, let's try out this uh, tamarind juice next. It should be interesting, to say the least. Um, we'll see how it is. Huh, more than more than 10% something. Kind of interesting. Anyways, we'll, we'll try it out and see. It's interesting, the top is like aluminum, I think. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of metal. And then, then the rest is like all plastic and stuff, you know, it's kind of a cool can. It's small, but yeah, all right. Saving the herbal tea for last, except for my milk tea, of course. Ooh, it's strong. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's strong. That is some strong stuff, and it has an aftertaste. At weddings, you know, they serve this, or something kind of like it, and it has an aftertaste. I really, it's way too strong for me. No, thank you. Tamarind juice. They sell this sort of fruit or whatever it is here. And essentially last but not least, we have the herbal tea here. It has English on it even, I'm surprised. It says herbal tea right there, um, which is surprising, but otherwise it's all in Chinese. So let's give it a go and see what it's like. It smells like tea again, but it smells a little more stronger tea flavor probably. Yeah. I remember having this years ago, actually. A friend told us about it. I was getting bloody noses a lot because it's dry weather here. It was like, I don't know, five, eight years ago or something. And he, they said, uh, this is the best drink to get when you have like bloody nose or something because it, it um, I don't know, it makes your blood thicker or something like that. Something weird, but anyways, 
I can't say it's really bad. If it were like super, super cold, I would almost like it. But because it's not so cold and it's just, I don't know, it's not my favorite thing. It's strong. It's, it's a strong tea flavor and I don't like that so much. But anyways, it's worth a shot, right? Trying it. You gotta take a good sip. What do you think? I think it's bad. <laughs> you think it's bad? Okay, try one of the others. Bad. <laughs> that one's bad as well? It just tastes like iced tea. Yeah, exactly. Just tastes like iced tea. See, it's pretty. It's not bad. It just has that dough, that that yeah. bean. I was saying bean in Chinese, but that. All right. Thank you to my sister for trying them. That was really cool that she would do it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of the quest for the best worst food in China, even though it wasn't food. Um, I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit like if you like this or any of my other videos. Be sure to check out the last two episodes. I'll have them linked down in the description as well as you might see one um, up here somewhere. I forget which side it's on. So far, the worst probably has been that um, durian. That durian was really bad. It The aftertaste was... It was terrible. Like, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It was really bad. Anytime I burped later that evening that I ate it, it was, it was the worst thing ever because you tasted it 20 times over. Um, so that was the worst, even though the egg was really bad in episode two, but that was definitely the worst so far in episode one. Anyways, next week, I'm hoping to be in Hong Kong, so be sure to check it out. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.